Hi Aries, welcome to your love read. I hope you're doing well. So let's go ahead and see what the energies are coming in for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will give it a little spray of the sage spray. <laughs> this stuff is the best. It's called Earth's Elements Wellness Sage. It's seriously good. You spray it and it has an, a very nice smell. So let's see. For Aries. Okay, so what do we have here coming in for Aries? First house of the Zodiac. The Rams. Ooh, the false mask <clears throat> deception. It's like when someone is saying everything is fine, I'm fine, but they're it's not. Free yourself. <laughs> Take back control. Yeah. Um, there may have been a person who said they were, you know, whatever it was that they were doing and there's something here about like it wasn't um it wasn't authentic it lacked it wasn't authentic okay but then we have re reconciliation bottom of the deck had it's safe for you to love so real quick I just want to show and then we'll I'll do the tarot cards so here's a piece of paper <laughs> um, if you Aries are on a certain timeline so we have July the 13th of 21 and you're kind of vibrating at this vibration um you could be on a scale of one to ten like a five today not feeling so great your love life is like eh you can ask your angels today like right now that you want to be at a number that you're comfortable with when you say the number what number am i comfortable with so maybe not ten Cause you're like eh I'm not really feeling 10 but I'd like to be at a 7 if I feel like I'm at a 7 I want to vibe higher I want to be I want to shift so you can ask your angels you can listen to music you can do whatever you need to do to change your frequency once you are then at a 7 you'll go along at this 7 and things happen people say things there's like all this outside influence um and then you can once you're at this comfortable seven you can ask to go to the nine and then you get to that nine and then you vibe at that level but if you are currently at a five or lower vibration you're vibing at a five or a lower, meaning you you see a lot of negative and a lot of the outside influences void data. Let's just call it data. Zero and one. On off. Um on off. On off. So you have this data coming in um, through words people are saying outside you're paying attention first of all you're paying attention to this data so you're listening you're you could even be like really really wanting to know this data um, you want the feedback you want um, you're collecting data on your partner your spouse you're watching them how are they acting today do they seem happy with me are they calling me back like all this data collection happens in the lower vibration because it's fear. 
fear, fear, fear. So you're in fear of what if they leave me? What if this person doesn't like me anymore? What if this person spreads rumors about me? What if this happens? Um, it's fear. Fear is a low vibration. You're not vibing high in a high vibration in fear. Fear is you are expecting the worst. You are expecting the worst outcome. You're like, well, he probably didn't like me anyway. She probably didn't really like me anyway. Um, he probably never, you know, or something like that. You're expecting the worst case scenario. Maybe he's cheating on me and whatever. So you're vibing in this low vibe. You could even be like between a one and a four and you're stuck so you could be stuck here because you're still collecting data you're looking at the outside world for um you're looking for confirmation from the other person in your life or people or society you're looking at people to see and collect the data to confirm what it is you already believe so if you already believe you'll never be happy and everything will just turn to crap then you're kind of stuck in this cycle of data collection fear and expecting the worst so you have to change the channel um you have to remove people that give you unasked for unsolicited data too like um like those people that just give you their opinion of you labeling labeling you and you're like no thank you i don't want that label no um so you have to reject this process and you have to level up and reject the data reject the data say no <laughs> just no like you just say no no more of that data just look at it like on and off, like, like flicking a light on and off. Like, so I'm not going to do that anymore. And you're going to change your frequency to only positive feedback, only positive, only positive, happy. Look, go outside, look at the sun, go somewhere that you really like only positive try it for like a week or a few days three days to because what you're doing is you're moving from a five to a seven so you're moving from this five to the seven you want to be happy you want to be a nine you want a nine of cups or a ten of cups ten of cups could feel if you're in a five like it's unattainable like i could never have that that would never be given to me um, I think too, if you're waiting in this fear one and four, you're waiting for the universe to just give it to you on a silver platter, but you're sitting here expecting the worst, it won't come in because you don't have faith. You don't believe you're in this stuck energy of data collection, kind of like a computer, um, algorithm or some kind of like AI software that's seeking, seeking, seeking data that is bad. So you have to reset your brain, your computer, and only, only, only do positives. Go up to like a seven or an eight. Reject. You have to start rejecting. You can't accept everything. Then you get to the seven, you stay there for a while, when you're at the seven, you feel like you're constantly having to stand your ground and reject other people's opinions, reject the labels. So you're rejecting, like you're doing a lot of rejecting in sevens because you're kind of confused. You also are standing your ground. You're thinking of a strategy. So this is the strategy phase, sevens, seven of pentacles, seven of cups, seven of wands it's all about the strategy to get higher so you're rejecting you're saying no to anything that makes you feel bad where you're saying like well that makes me feel bad so i'm not going to do that um 
fear too if somebody is giving you the negative data about you this is they're playing into you what you already expect they're all they're playing into this and then keeping you here in this low vibration of fear pain anxiety it's pain this is a pain cycle of anxiety so you want to level up so you have to fight for it you have to start rejecting and saying no I was thinking of saying no for a whole week anybody ask me anything no <laughs> so then nines you are getting towards wish fulfillment things will start to come towards you that you want because you're saying no to what you don't want here you don't even really know what you want because you're looking at all the data and trying to figure it out you're like in a three of pentacles you're like what do I do what do I do where can I go what should I do um, or you're in a five I'd say it's a five you're in a five of pentacles you're in a five of cups you know what is crappy you know there's something not working and yet you don't know how to get unstuck you get unstuck by rejecting flat out reject slam the door shut and say no I'm never going to accept that energy around me again so then you're in the strategy phase when you go to the strategy phase you will then have to switch over to the eight which would be you have to become very committed and industrious towards protecting yourself so rejecting anything that's going to attack you and becoming very meticulous like look for the little things like is somebody giving you a sideways comment comment that's a negative comment to you but they're masking it as a compliment that would be look at the details eight of pentacles look at the details what are they saying eight of swords analyze look at it like what is somebody doing um you know so you want to get to your nine of cups you want to get to the wish fulfillment and you want to get to that point first you have to not you have to be very meticulous and not allow any of this little vibrational energy in your circle it could be the smallest little thing like eight of pentacles eight of swords looking at the details the smallest little thing somebody does or says or something that happens you have to reject it and say no um, look at it very carefully and then you get to your nine of cups you only surround yourself with positive things eight of pentacles too could be where you're looking at the at the details of why is this happening like well why is this happening why is this data coming into me and then and then you can level up so when you level up you actually get to a point where you're only surrounded by positive energy and you are not allowing in any of this five um in numerology it's a five conflict fear pain and loss data you're not allowing this data to come in so you'd have to shut the door okay so that's how you can timeline shift on your own you can ask spirit to to accelerate your timeline shift because you're in if you're in a timeline where you're like I've been unhappy for years I'm over here I've been unhappy for years you have to timeline shift you have to go up otherwise you don't want to spend your whole waking days of the rest of your life over here none of my viewers want that I know that I know that for a fact <laughs> so the romance cards are showing that there is some low vibrational energy that you are going to free yourself from and then it's showing that there will be a positive energy surrounding coming in so let's see what are we getting here for Aries love what am I at 1440 what am I getting for Aries for this love read Aries the four love Aries for love 
page of wands aries leo sagittarius youthful excited creative message could be a person who's younger than you we have a queen of wands we have someone who is empowered we have the six of air peaceful moving out of conflict blocking not accepting somebody's conflict turning away from it temperance could be sagittarius we have grounded a need to stay grounded balanced okay we have a queen of water pisces cancer scorpio compassion coming in towards you and what is coming in wow queen of air you are really in that seven phase i feel like you're higher you're you're you are rejecting this energy you're saying no like um four of coin you're not giving in to a lower vibrational energy anymore you're saying no i don't show a vi low vibration but i show a six which comes after a five so there's a four of water you're somebody is not interested as well there's like a standoff it's like somebody's like well i don't want to talk to you then and you're like well i don't want to i'm not going to give you anything your fear is a ten of air you're afraid that um there's a fear of ruin which is true you don't want to be betrayed and ruined you don't want to be ruined by someone's negative energy six of coin comes in somebody is balancing they're trying to bring you out of that five energy you're no longer in the five energy somebody is assisting you leveling up your energy though is very very guarded four of coin four of coin the world yeah you learned a lesson you learned a lesson you said i'm guarding myself against low vibrational energies um what is the four of cups around the aries the fool liberation and freedom this is good this is a new journey this is burdens are lifted you're no longer paying attention to this energy um queen of air you are absolutely not taking it i think you know there's a could be a very emotional person coming in what is the queen of air here ace of rods there's something exciting and new but um you're hesitant what is the six of pentacles the page of cups somebody is reaching out to you being sweet and kind what is the queen of water pisces cancer scorpio or someone with water in their chart page pentacles again taurus capricorn or virgo somebody who's learning so this person you're kind of done with them oh now they want a commitment now they want to now they're all in you're pretty done you felt like you learned a lesson here like i'm no i'm not going to get torn down so the fool comes in with the four of cups this person might not have a plan what is the fool energy for the person around aries the chariot they could be moving on if they if you are rejecting them they're moving on it looks like they somebody comes back who is this page of cups showing earth sign it's showing water sign what is the page of cups the judgment there's a calling or a major transformation something being raised up they want to come back oh my god that's what this is i think they can't live without you i'm because i'm showing like they're saying i want a commitment with you um you are listening to them though you're guarded but you're listening you you realize i learned a lesson with the world and the four of pentacles 
I learned a lesson, but they bring you excitement. So you're being very um, cautious. What is the Ace of Wands? Three of Coin. Could be more than one person, like friends, um, multiple people. What is the Three of Pentacles about here? What is the Three of Pentacles? Eight of Rods. You get a lot of information and a lot of communication. You're trying to discern um, whether you should talk to them or not. What is the Six of Coin? Your heart is wide open for them. Somebody wants to give you wisdom. Or the person is lonely, like they're kind of a loner. Um, what is the Four of Coin here? An Ace of Coin. Yep, somebody wants to try again. I don't know, fairies, if you're going to go for it. Six of Swords is underlying. You've moved on. Five of Pentacles, yeah, they brought you down. They made you feel abandoned. They brought you down into the low vibration. Strength card. You had to be strong to, to get through something, and now they want to come back again. They're like, I'm ready for a commitment. Um, what is Ace of Coin? This person feels bad about what they did. Um, what did they do? Oh, they, they made you feel abandoned and rejected. They gave you a Four of Cups. And they can't, they can't handle it. They can't, they want to come back around. What does this Page of Cups want? Magician. They think they can make it work. They think they can make something work with you. Oh my god. Four of Wands. They think they can have the happily ever after with you, Aries, if they just try harder. Eight of Coin, Four of Wands. Hangman. If they had you stuck in a low vibrational energy and you said no, you said no. I don't want to fight with someone. I don't want to be feeling un unappreciated or left out in the cold. Why now is kind of my question. You freed yourself. The reconciliation card, they want to reconcile because they feel bad. You learned a lesson with them with the world. You went through the ups and the downs. Even if it was just like nothing. Because Ace of Coin, and maybe it was an Ace of Cups because of the page. Um, this is nothing. This is like a text. They're now wanting to come back with a Ten of Pentacles. It's completely up to you what you decide to do. Um, I think you you are... I think you're the Six of Coin. It could be someone else, like an Earth sign, that wants to offer you this coin. I think the Queen of Air is you, is the Aries. You're guarding yourself because you were Four of Coin. You're saying, no, I am rejecting anyone that's going to make me feel bad. Go now. Meditate, find your center. Yeah, they want to come back. Okay, listen. So maybe there's something where you have to listen to what they have to say. I doubt it. If they're in a low vibration, it doesn't matter what they say, really. Nurture yourself, Mother Mary, and the power of joy. Change your vibration, switch the channel in your mind. Only surround yourself with positive things. You don't want this abandonment, rejection, sad, fighting, di disappointments. You literally don't have the time for it. Like, literally, you don't have the time. You don't have the time. This person feels a sense of shame or remorse or bad, negative 
or they're they can't stop thinking about it maybe they're obsessed with you Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, they could be talking to other people as well, but it's not romantic. It's like more like teams, um, groups or friends. They want to come back and try to manifest something with you now. They want to bring it back to life. So I will leave this here for you, Aries. Thank you for tuning into your love read and take care.